Okay. The next day. Uh, 16th of July, I think. Tuesday afternoon. Uh, damn it. It's only 6.15. 6.20. I've been asleep maybe an hour. And now I'm just up and walking around because I can't stand to lay down. I just cannot stand to lay down right now. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, this makes me mad. Ow! Oh. Shit. Okay. So I'll just go out here and sleep in the chair again. I slept out there for hours yesterday because I just can't stand to lay down in my bed. Shit, I'm mad. I'm tired. I'm worn out. Why can I sleep in my bed? Damn it! Come on here. Damn it, I'm mad. Turn this up. So much more noisier out here. There's kids out there playing, and there's noise. Even over the fan, I can hear them. Damn it. It's daylight out here. At least in there, it's dark. I have no choice. There's no way I can. There's no damn way. Ah, damn it. Damn it. All right, let's just get set down here and try to go to sleep. Good morning. Well, it's the next day now. It's Wednesday morning, July 17th. And, uh, well, I was mad last night. <laughs> that was the second straight day of RLS after going to bed. After being dead tired and going to sleep, that's the second day of waking up with the dang RLS. Now, thinking back, this time last summer, I went through this a lot, where I'd have it for day after day after day. I'd just everything would be normal. I would go to sleep, and then wake right up with RLS. So I don't know if it has something to do with the heat. It might. So I did sleep out here for about an hour in the chair. I put a an old Scooby Doo. Where are you on the computer? I had the fans going to give me the white noise and I was able to drift right off to sleep in the chair. Uh, got up about an hour later, cut in here and laid back down and went to sleep until just about five minutes ago when I woke up. I get up during the night uh, several times to pee because I'm dehydrated and I drink water, but that's a daily thing. It's, that never goes away. I've always got the dehydration problems going on. I think it's a, a blood pressure medicines that I take and the GERD medicine and whatnot. But uh, So that's nothing unusual. But I think the heat got me yesterday. So anyway, hopefully 
we had two bouts of it and hopefully that'll go away. I gotta go to work today and maybe that has something will help in some way, I don't know. Yesterday, the last two days I didn't do anything, I just stayed around the house and rested and relaxed, so that could have something to do with it, I don't know. So we'll see, we'll proceed on from here and grab the camera whenever that crud is making my life miserable. Good morning, as you can see it is Sunday morning, it is July 21st, and I have a quick RLS update with some good news. And a big part of that good news is I have not been attacked since uh, Monday and Tuesday, my last days off. I made it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday without any RLS problems at all. And it's been just as hot the last uh, three or four days as it was on Monday, Tuesday when I was attacked by RLS. So whether the heat's uh, a factor in it, I just don't know. So I've had some pretty long work days the last two days uh, because my assistant baker has went off on a camping trip with her husband, and that's great. Well, it's great for her, but I end up having to cover everything, and it's pretty busy right now at work. Um, yesterday was almost a 10-hour day, and I would have thought for sure that uh, I would come home and have RLS after working such a long day, being on my feet, my feet hurt, and everything else. So, apparently, that's not a cause for the RLS either. So now let's get on to another piece of good news. And that is what you see behind me. Yep, that's an exercise bike. I'm back here in the spare bedroom. That's actually the master bedroom of my house. A room I don't use except to put, store a bunch of stuff. And I've got an exercise bike in there in here. Uh, I've had this for more than two months and I don't know why I didn't mention it in the previous videos but I didn't. Uh, I bought this because my doctor wants to put me on cholesterol medicine next year uh, if I don't get my cholesterol down and lose weight and get my cholesterol down. Uh, so he wanted me to get some good cardio exercise and because of my arthritis in my ankle and my hip replacement in my right leg, I, I didn't know what kind of exercise I could get. So it uh, finally occurred to me, well, why not try an exercise bike? So I bought this bike. It's a pretty nice bike. It's a folding bike, and uh, I've been riding it for about two months, and I got to admit, I'm having a lot of trouble staying committed to this. I'm trying to ride this twice a day in the morning before I go to work, and then in the evening before bedtime and uh, I make it about every other day if, if even that and sometimes I go three or four days without riding it. It's just hard to be committed to it uh, because it's tough. I'm, I'm going to be 60 years old next year so it's just tough, uh, tough doing this. But I would think that using an exercise bike and getting that good cardio exercise will prevent the RLS from happening, but it didn't. Uh, when my last attack, last Monday and Tuesday, I didn't work out at all, but I had worked out on this thing. I'd rode it twice a day um, for the previous three or four days uh, straight, uh, and then I got attacked by RLS, so it doesn't seem to you know, regular exercise doesn't seem to help the RLS. Don't know that for a fact, but I'm just saying, to me, it seems like it's not really helping me out. But I'm going to continue working out on that thing because I need the good cardio, and it feels good, and I want to lose weight and look good, and, and all the rest, and certainly try to get rid of the RLS if I can. So that's my update. Um, we'll be back when I get attacked again. And I hope that's going to be never, but I'm sure it's going to be coming up uh, pretty soon. 